Hey everybody, how's it going? John here from Unbeatable Tech, and I'm so excited to give you my opinions of the new Thrivecart Learn platform. If you're not sure what that is, there was an announcement made recently by Josh Bartlett and the team over at Thrivecart where they unveiled what they've been working on for a while. Thrivecart has been quiet for a few months, and the reason is because they just launched a huge update, which gives you free access if you're a Thrivecart user to an all new platform inside of Thrive called Thrivecart Learn. What Thrivecart Learn is, is essentially a competitor to Teachable, a competitor to LearnDash, a competitor to Sandcart. All the course platforms allows you to build and launch your own courses inside of Thrivecart directly without any complicated API keys, integrations, or any of that techie hookup stuff that can get so many people sidetracked. In this video, I'm going to go and take a look at it. We'll build a course out together. I'll let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly as we're going through this. I've given myself just a little bit of heads up so I know where I'm going with this review, but we are, you're going to see my first impressions going through building out a real course together. I've used tons of platforms, just about all of them out there. So I'll give you my honest opinion by the end of this video. And if you're interested at any point in the video and you want to give it a shot, understanding this is actually a free upgrade, we'll talk about some of the optional paid bumps in this video. This is free for Thrivecart. If you want to give it a try, I also have some bonuses. As an affiliate, full disclosure, I get a bit of compensation if you purchase, but this is my unbiased review. I'm not being paid by Thrivecart to make this review, and it does not serve me to only fluff you up on all the stuff because if you don't trust me, then you won't use my recommendation to watch my videos. So this is my honest opinion. Let's go ahead and dive in. So there's a video sales letter here. I'll also link that down below in the description for you to take a look at what this is, but I'll go ahead and save you the pain and let's go straight into it here. Okay, so I'm logged into one of our Thrivecart accounts and you'll see a little new button up here with the subtitle of Learn. So this is their new platform. Now, before we actually build out the course here inside of the Learn platform, basically this is getting rid of the need to have to do this, going into your settings, going into integrations, which scares a lot of people, going to membership platforms, building maybe a WordPress website and building Thrive Apprentice or Wishlist member and Lifter LMS. And then hooking it all up and praying that it works and praying that like your web host doesn't go down all that stuff. This is a hosted solution. You would expect to pay about a hundred, two hundred dollars per month for a solution like this. The pro version of teachable, which is what we're personally using, uh, is about a hundred dollars per month. It is a hundred dollars per month, a uh, sand card, same deal. Uh, so this is an opportunity to save some money, but let's see if it's any good. Let's go in and build a course. And next we will go and hook it up into an actual sales funnel deal. Let's do it. So I'll click over to the learn section here and you can see I have a test course. I just gave myself a little bit of heads up before recording this, but we're going to go ahead and start from scratch here. Let's delete this course and we can create our first project. If you are a user of ConvertBox or Thrivecart, you will be instantly familiar here. This is using their same user experience, which I think is phenomenal. It's very easy. It's step-by-step -step and it's very fast. So let's go. We'll build a course here. We'll call this simple low priced course. We're going to pretend this is a mini course for the sake of this demonstration. All right. So we have a product or we have a project. So the way this works is within the projects, you can organize courses. You might use, uh, each of these courses as part of an irresistible offer as a bundle. So you're not locked into only selling a single product. You'll also be able to do bundles more on that in a second. So let's give this guy a name. We'll call this awesome mini course. In this course, you'll learn about Thrivecart Learn. It's good enough. Author is me, and I'll give the course a quick logo here. All right, so I uploaded a simple image that says awesome course, and let's create our course. Okay, so now we have our courses created here. We're now in the course creation module or setup. So we can set up with modules. So we'll do introduction. And here you can see th there will be throughout the interface here, several invitations, I would say to upgrade to the pro version or learn plus as they're calling it, that's going to give you a bunch of different little benefits, um, which we'll cover uh, once we get over to it. So let's just follow along with the free version first and decide I have personally not upgraded to the plus yet more on that later. Okay. We have our first module. We can start adding a lesson in. So we can just drag and drop very easy. I enjoy that process of, you know, dragging and dropping, moving things around. Cause otherwise I'm using a notepad to map everything out Then I'm trying to recreate it in a menu system and it can be a little bit more funky. So this is very appreciated. All right. So we'll call this one. Welcome to the course. We'll create the lesson. Now question is how do the lessons look? What can you do with them? Uh, this is okay. A feature content 
is also coming. So you're gonna get a very bare bones for free. They're gonna really try to get you to upgrade to that plus version. We'll see about that. I can go into edit this lesson. Very similar to the checkout page designer inside of Thrivecart. So let's go ahead and give it a heading. And we'll say, welcome to my course. So this is kind of nice. It's not like WordPress where it's very structured and rigid on what goes where. You have a little bit of flexibility here. Let's assume we want to put a video in here and I'll go ahead and grab an embed code for some video. Okay. I've grabbed an embed code. I'll just paste it in here. I'll say done. I don't like that. You can't see the preview of the video. I also don't really like that because this is a software as a service, I tend to have different expectations versus something like a WordPress plugin. If it was all in WordPress and it was just code that I'm loading onto my website, I would expect to be responsible for my own video hosting. But there tends to be an expectation inside of the software as a service world that they include your video hosting for you. But at the same time, that's not a really fair expectation, I should be able to say, because first of all, you're not paying every month for Thrivecart. So if they were to give you an ongoing um, hosting forever, that would probably not be a very good business model. And I would be fearful of the future of Thrivecart. Here, they're being smart. They're kind of doing what is reasonable. Uh, we'll give you this entire platform. We'll integrate it for you. Just handle the ongoing costs of video hosting. So that's where Vimeo would come in, Wistia, Spotlighter, Dub. There's several different video hosts out there, even Presto Player, things like that. So um, not a big deal. Just want to make you aware. That's a, it's a con, but I, I can explain through the con that um, they can't really afford to give you free, unlimited video hosting for life, right? That's just not really a fair expectation. But be aware, this is not a fully free solution. If you're comparing it to something like a Teachable, where th that $100 per month is also paying for your video hosting. So take, keep that in mind. All right, let's fill this lesson out a little bit. In this lesson, you will learn and maybe give a bullet point list here. <laughs> there we are. Lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. All right, not too bad. I will say publish. And I should be able to preview this. We'll get into that in a moment. Let's add one more uh, lesson here. I'll be lazy, but so if you were building out a course, it wouldn't take too long. The load screens are not bugging me at all. And this is like day one or day two of it being released. So, um, so far this seems like it's a really lightweight solution. All right. Lesson two. This way we don't need to have video lessons on everything. This is just a text lesson. Let's also add a link. I'll learn more and I will add the link here to my bonuses. So you can go to unbeatabletech.com slash thrivecart bonus right there and learn more. If you like what you're seeing, I will give you my full opinions at the end of the video. All right, so this is a mini course, no big deal. You can see here, they are going to try to get you to upgrade while this is here on the screen. Let's just click on it and see what you are getting. Advanced sequences, being able to, if they complete this lesson, then unlock that lesson. Thrive Automator is a tool that just came out. There's some videos I have on my channel about that, which is like a WordPress solution similar to this. Tagging, lists, kind of like that CRM functionality. There's a very, very light implementation inside of Thrivecart, which is interesting. The big one here is course bundles. It's, it's, ah, I'm frustrated because this would be an amazing solution. A very easy recommendation if you're on a budget to just grab this and be good. But having a bundle is a really important thing. I, from our audience and from what I've learned in the last seven years of doing this marketing thing is just being able to like one product to one course is very inconvenient. Um, so from that perspective, I like what Thrive Apprentice has done that you can create courses or bundles and link them to a Thrive Cart product, which you'll see at the end of this video when we sell the sucker, they're really going to try to get you to upgrade again. It's only, I think $200. Let's, let's walk through the other list here. Team access. I could give or take it. I, it's important, but it's not a deal breaker for most people. Student import. That's a big deal. Being able to take your list of people. And if you're migrating off of a expensive software as a solution or a software as a service and coming here, being able to import your students is very, very important. So good job. Well, good job for them on like pulling it in as a paid feature. Featured content, not sure that is yet. It's coming soon and custom domains. This is a interesting one here. So custom domains is where instead of being, uh, 
unbeatabletech.thrivecart.com to be like the, the home of my thing. I would be able to do unbeatable tech or courses dot unbeatable tech. I can control all that branding, which is great inside of the pro version of ThriveCard, the normal ThriveCard, not this learn platform. You have the ability to give them one custom domain. So one checkout page, which is like, okay, that's, it's been one of my quibbles. I don't know if quibbles is a good word for it, but I haven't been a huge fan, but they wouldn't give you unlimited custom domains. That would be a huge benefit. Um, and now here on the learn platform, it seems as though you'll be able to have a custom domain for every course, which is a head scratcher. You would think that if you can have unlimited custom domains for your courses, you should be able to make a landing page, which is a one page funnel, a sales page inside of Thrivecart with a matching domain, or at least, um, you know, a similar domain, a custom domain for that sales process. Head scratcher, not a huge fan. That's a big knock. Um, just because now it doesn't make sense to me if you're going to give multiple custom domains give it across the entire platform. If you're only giving a single custom domain, stick with it. I don't like the inconsistency there. Okay. But if you like all this, if, as we're going through the video, you want to grab it, uh, it's going to make me leave the, the, why would you make me leave the, that's weird. Let me hit save and then we can check it out. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go back in there. That's weird. All right. Let's come here. Upgrade. Now I can go through only $200, $195. I'm not giving you, giving you my full endorsement on this yet. We're going to work through it together, but that's the price to upgrade. And it's a one-time price. It's not monthly. It's not yearly. Um, I don't know if it's sustainable, but I've, we've seen Thrivecart continue to grow and scale and they're taking on Sandcart head to head with this one here. So clearly it is sustainable where they've done the numbers and they're, they're smart business people. So I don't think they would really set themselves up for failure like that. Okay. So we have a course here. It's basic. We're going to come to the course options. If the student pays a recurring fee to access this course, what should happen after their payments failed? Awesome. Pause access, disable access. Super cool. So for example, if you want a monthly membership where you release new content every month, uh, you could create drip content. <laughs> we can do drip here. So after a trial rebuild, after a time period. So we could say, for example, drip out a lesson every, oh, this is so interesting. It's uh, not very flexible. It's drip out a lesson every week or every month. Um, I would like to be able to in include, Hey, maybe after three days, get this one after five days, get that one. Um, but this is, this is good and simple. Simple is generally better. Okay. Course options. So that's very nice. Show this course for sale to students of your other courses. Very nice. So inside their members area, kind of like how we got the, the pitch to upsell here, we can say, yeah, I want to include this. And then you can link them to the sales page of this product, which we'll do at the end of the video. All right, we'll skip over behavior rules, but let's just at least show you. Um, okay, so if the new lesson becomes available, we might be able to add them a tag, give them a tag in Active Campaign. So we can send an email to them saying, hey, by the way, this lesson's available. Go click here and log in. You can do all that through the integrations with your email marketing platforms. Nice. Very cool. Um, I'll skip over it, but that's a lot of things you could do. Alrighty. So we have our course built out. Bundles here is only for pro. Your students importing is only for pro. I can click here. It's probably going to give me another warning. So it's a fully functional platform, but it's limited functionality until you upgrade. So um, if you're planning on switching over, just have the expectation of making that small investment because I just personally would not want to use this for years and constantly see all the stuff I can't do. They, they're smart marketers, man. These guys are smart. All right, now let's sell this bad boy here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a product by going over to the product section and we'll just call this a learn course, learn course. Let's make it go live. Why not? And we'll do uh, myself as the owner. Let's just charge $5 for it. And we'll not do a bump, but all the good stuff you can normally do with Thrivecart, you can of course do here, but we'll skip over that because that's not really the purpose of this video. Let's put in our support email address. And this is where I wanted to show you when they purchase, Just add them to their membership site. Normally this is where you'd have all your integration set up. For example, with Thrive Apprentice, Wishlist Member, Teachable, things like that. Here though, check it out, Thrivecart Learn. So this feels just like another integration. As an example, if I go to this Thrive Apprentice course, I'll probably see some of the courses that I sell on my own website. But in this case, it's going to be right here. No loading, no API keys, no red error messages that sometimes happen. And you can add tags. 
which is interesting. I don't exactly know what that is. So more on that to come. Let's just make it a very simple um, checkout form. <laughs> We're skipping over all this. Save and get URL. Let's go through the experience here. So I will head over to the purchase. Again, I have not customized this, but you can see the price of my course is now that amount. Let's pause real fast and buy this thing. Okay, I'll paste in a, um, a fake email address and put my credit card in. All right, so it's completing the order. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so it sends me to a, a not designed checkout page. If I click here, what's going to happen? I'll click over here. It'll ask me to create my account, which is super nice, very clean setup here. I'll also likely get an email address or an email. Here we go. So now I can see verify your account to access. Oh goodness, ads on top of ads. Cool. So this is my email address. It tells me that I'm good to go. I'm in. I get my standard invoice. I'm used to getting from Thrivecart. And we get, this is just a receipt from Stripe since this was a real transaction. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and create our account. We'll call this first purchase. I'll put in the email address I just used, give myself a password and I'll say complete. And now I can see here, this is very nice. I can see my awesome course. I can click on it and I've got access, instant access. This looks very premium. It definitely has that Thrivecart feel to it. I wonder if I can see all my purchases. So far, I don't see the ability to get my purchases. I'm sure that's on the roadmap because that's just the next logical thing to include, but that's it guys. This is Thrivecart learn. I can see in my dashboard. Now, if I go over to this uh, dummy account and look at my transactions, I can see this transaction coming in today, all in one spot. We built that out in just a few minutes. What are my thoughts? <clears throat> if you are already a Thrivecart user and you're not happy, maybe you're paying a lot and there's a lot of tech and confusion and stuff with your current provider, this is worth a look. Honestly, it is worth a look. Um, it is a brand new software. It's a brand new system, which means I would expect there to be some bugs in the beginning throughout this process. I didn't really feel any bugs going through it, but I would be cautious of if you have an existing, for example, we have about a hundred thousand students in our main academy. I would not be comfortable importing all 100,000 over today and getting started with this platform. I would let the bugs work out a little bit. But if you're launching your course and you're not sure how to do it and you're looking at Kajabi and then you see the price tag of a, like a per month, hundred, two hundred dollars per month, this could be a serious budget option where for the price of a few months, you could be good on life for both your checkouts and your courses. What's nice about this as well is because if you are selling, um, physical products like drop shipping or selling a book, print on demand, things like that, Thrivecart does that nicely already. And then you can have a bump where they can get access to a member's area inside of Thrivecart Lure. So there is some good flexibility with what you can do here. Um, one of the gripes I've always had with Thrivecart is just because you sell a course as the main product, if maybe the upsell was a consulting thing that was not a course, you kind of have to have a course for everything. Like you have to almost create dummy courses or shell courses. If you wanted to have upsells and downsells that are different products, um, it's just kind of something you get used to. It's a common, um, it's a common downside with course platforms, but there you go. Um, not bad. I'll certainly say I'm impressed going through this for the first one, learning more. Okay, cool. Shows you what's going on. I'm impressed in a follow-up video. I'd like to go ahead and add a couple more courses in here to see how they populate in that members area. And if they send over to the course sales page, that's definitely interesting to me. I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, do all that stuff. And if you don't have Thrivecart and you're considering it, um, there's a link down below, my affiliate link. I'd be appreciative, but do what's right for you. In the next video, we'll dive much deeper into it. Take care.